If you're using a Google Sheet to upload your product data into Merchant Center, what do you do if you have product variants and you actually want to list those variants in Google Shopping? Clothes, shoes, for example. That's what I'm going to show you in this particular video. So here we have an example of a product feed. I will click a link to this particular example below the video and you can go and make a copy of it if you want to have a play, a play around with this yourself. So what you normally do with standard products, if you just have single products in the Merchant Centre feed, you um, add your information like this. We have our ID, title, description, uh, Google product category, product type, etc., links, prices, all that kind of thing. So that's absolutely fine if you've just got a product that you need to list. If you have products where you have variants, it is essentially the same product but different versions of the product, then it gets a little bit more complicated when you're doing it in a Google Sheet. And so what you need to do is if you scroll along on this particular example sheet, you will see a column that's entitled Item Group ID. So this is what Google will use in order to identify products that are variants of the same product. Essentially, all we need to do is say to Google, all of these products have the same item group ID, but these are the individual versions within that group of products, group of variants. So you'll see here, the ID of the products initial, the initial ID of, this, of these products was this uh, CLO 29473856. So what I've done to make it a little bit easier for myself is to use that my in original ID as the item group ID. So you'll see that there, CLO 29473856. But obviously our product IDs all have to be unique inside Merchant Center. So all I've done to identify the different variants is to add a dash one, dash two, and then obviously however many variants you've got, dash three, four, five however many you've got. In this particular instance, I've highlighted these two lines in yellow here. We're talking about jeans and we've got a size eight standard and a size eight tall. So the product ID, dash one, dash two, dash one is size eight standard, dash two, size eight tall. Now you will notice as we come across, okay, you will then obviously need to update whatever the variant is, you'll then need to update that in that particular column. So in this instance, it's the size that's different. So in my size column, I have size eight standard, eight tall. Everything else stays the same, unless obviously out of stock, you can notice here, but all the other identifiers can stay the same. If I wanted to have a size eight short, I can simply copy that line paste it here. I can change from the three, two now becomes three. Size eight short. Okay. And then I will always the end and I will just change that to size eight short. And now I have three variants of that product. The next two lines you will see I have made the color different. So we've got a blue and a red. Again, I have taken the original product ID, which is this 1029384, and I have turned that into my uh, item group ID. Obviously, all the item group IDs need to be the same for all the product variants. And then I've just added the dash one, dash two for the two different colors. And over in the color column, we now have blue on one of them and red on another. Again, if I wanted to create one in green, it's just a case of pasting this becomes three. So I've got one, two, and three. Change the title and then scroll along until we get to the color. And then I just set the color as green. So as you can see, if you had lots of variations. I mean, it can get, if you've got size and color variants, that might get a little bit complicated. But for most of us where we maybe have, I don't know, like with these, 
maybe half a dozen different colors of the same thing or just different sizes of the same thing, then once you've set up the initial item group ID and you've you know, decided how you're going to set up your individual product IDs so that they um, they make sense for you, then it's relatively straightforward to update the actual attribute that's changing and obviously the product title. And you probably would want to change the image link to reflect with sizes. It's not so important, but obviously with colors, you might want to change the item I the image link, sorry, to show the correct color in the ad. So that would be quite important to increase your click through rate, because if people see they're looking for a blue jumper, but the picture is showing a green one, then they're obviously not going to click on that link because it's not going to appear relevant for them. So that's another hint, obviously, to make sure that you have the correct image linked to the correct um, variant. And also don't forget if you can, if your website URL changes when you select a different variant, some e-commerce platforms do, some don't. Some When you select a certain variant, the actual URL will change. If that's the case, then obviously double check that on your site. If that is the case, make sure that the link that you are sending people to has, if you can, has that particular variant pre-selected. So in this case, in the green jersey, then what we want to do is when they, the link that we enter for our product page, when they click that link, they are landing on the pre-selected green option. And so it makes it easier. They're less likely to bounce if they think they've landed on the wrong page that shows a blue t-shirt, then that all is going to make a lot more sense and hopefully encourage people to convert better once they've clicked on your ad. Okay, so that's how we add product variations into our Google Sheet in Google Merchant Center. I hope you found that helpful. Don't forget to like the video and any questions you have, please post them in the comments.